Gen Z is refusing to work, go to school, or be productive. This group of people is, they're just absolutely sad. We know that Gen Z is passing away faster than any previous generation. Many of them are passing away at age 25. This is based on studies from the CDC, data from the CDC, as well as other credible sources. It's unbelievable what's going on with them. And despite all of this, Gen Z is completely disconnected from reality. They are choosing to avoid work, avoid education at increasing numbers, or any type of productivity. Let's go ahead and jump into this article. So meet the disconnected youth, a growing group of Gen Zers who aren't working or going to school. So in Japan, like, and that's why I just I need to just go to Japan already. You know, there's a term called NEAT, and I think it exists in other places as well. And it stands for not in education, employment, or training. And that is the present Gen Zer. They are increasingly becoming these people. Needs are seen as very, very negative in Japanese society. Not only in Japanese society, but in other countries as well. And, and there's a term in Mexico for these people. You know, I spent time in Mexico. There is a term that Hispanic people use for them, but it's a derogatory term. So I won't say it because everyone speaks Spanish these days. But as you, but there's a there's a very bad term for people who don't want to work. And this is Gen Z. So one in three Americans age 18 to 24 have no income, according to a new report. Zero, guys, no income at all. Younger Americans are increasingly depressed and not eroding, <laughs> enrolling in college. An analysis from the St. Louis Federal Reserve looks at the fate of younger workers. And... Guys, I showed you guys a video recently of basically these economists that are panicking now because men are dropping out of society. Men are refusing to actively participate, form family units. They're better staying at home and trading cryptocurrency, you know, doing day trading. They're only working enough to survive and thrive and no, no more. And they're taking all of that money out of the economy. And with, with sky high inflation, it's creating substantial problems. Gen Z, on the other hand, these people, check out what Gen Z is doing. Gen Z is dropping out of society. They are, they are filing for disability. They are successfully filing for disability. And then those that have student loan debt are discharging their student loans after filing for disability. So they are becoming permanently disabled. This Guys, I warned you. I said that if most Gen Z are filed for disability, they're going to get it. They are filing for disability and they are collecting social security benefits. These people are not even 30 yet, all right? These people are not even 30 yet. Many of they're, they're barely into their mid-20s and they are filing. They are filing for disability, getting disability, getting food stamps, getting Medicare, living at home with their parents and just chilling. This is Gen Z. Gen Zers might be reshaping the world of work, but only if they have a job. And for many, that might not be the case. New research from the St. Louis Federal Reserve, St. Louis Federal Reserve's Institute for Economic Equity delved into the challenges young people ages 18 to 24 are experiencing in today's economy. They found that more than one in three have no income at all. Guys. One in three, more than one in three Gen Zers have no income, zero income, okay? These people are not working. They're not attending school. In particular, the research looked at a group dubbed disconnected youth who aren't working and are also not in school. As of 2020, 20, as of 2022, disconnected youth comprised 13% of this age group, that share has been rising overall since 1998, according to calculations from the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas. To be sure, many young people don't yet have an income because they are still in school and living off loans or family assistance. But for those who are not, the lack of income could hurt Gen Z, Z's ability to save money for retirement or make bigger purchases down the road. It also can 
take a toll on their mental health, weighing them down as they try to progress in a tough economy. So they've already given up on the prospects of ever owning property and, you know, property or, and then in terms of retirement, they know they'll never be able to retire. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a hard, I, here's the thing. I understand the situation in the sense that when, when I came into the economy out of school, they, you know, the boomers, they, 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 they really pulled a fast one on us. They pro- made all of these promises. So we came in like, you know, with all of this energy and optimism, and we just kept on working and working and working, believing things would get better. And then we realized that the, we, we got scammed. They're like, you know, they, they, they got us. The boomers, they, they, they got us. They got us good. You know, they, tr- they, they basically, we're basically their credit card. And, uh, you know, it's just basically hi-ho, hi-ho. It's off to work we go. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Hi-ho, hi-ho. You know, but Gen Z, on the other hand, they didn't get that. They didn't get the scab. Like they, they, they just know right off the bat. Yeah, the boomers screwed everyone, and uh, we're, there's no future. There's no no future in Western society. Now the thing is, here's here's the thing. It's about reallocating. You know, rethinking things. You know, looking overseas, realizing that you know that opportunity is just not here in America anymore. But it doesn't mean that there are not still opportunities in the world. You're going to have to just do what people have always done and, you know, go somewhere else. Do what men are doing right now and walk away. Gen Z, on the other hand, they have zero resilience. I, I will say this. You have to go out into the world and you have to suffer. And then once you start to suffer, you suffer some more. And you think that you're not going to make it, but guess what? You're still here. You made it while a bunch of others didn't make it. And now you could suffer some more and some more and some more and some more. And over time, through the suffering, you basically develop resilience. But I will say this. Life should not be an endless cycle of suffering. And that is a very serious problem. And I understand Gen Z's position on this. I understand why Gen Z would feel this way. But at the same time, Gen Z doesn't, they don't really seem to, they, they have no pride. For example, regardless of what's going on, it's about doing something well, finding something you're passionate about. Gen Z has Gen Z was never passionate about anything because they because so many of them graduated from high school during the events of 2020 and after the events of 2020. Many of them graduated from high school without having to pass any standardized exams. They basically got rid of them. Now they're getting into colleges before they even apply for colleges. This is unheard of. This is unheard of. So, like, they're getting accepted to state schools before they even apply to these schools. Like, bro, I went to a state school. It was hard to get into the school. You needed a good GPA. It was, like, you had to really work hard in these programs just to get, like, like, like some of these engineering programs, bro, you graduate with, like, a 2.5 and you're doing good because it's hard. It's hard. And now Gen Z is just, like, bouncing in and out of school and like they're graduating from college without like having to actually like pass their exams. Like what the hell is going on? What the heck is going on? Gen Z is a, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there it's, I get it. It's all doom and gloom, but yeah, life goes on, man. Life goes on. You have to find a way to keep on moving and to survive. I know it feels helpless. I know it feels hard. One of the big problems with Gen Z is Gen Z doesn't have very good hard skills. You know, like, you know, learning how to, it's a continuous cycle of learning, learning, and then learning some more. And I, I'll say, it, I started out, you know, doing crazy things like back in the early 2000s. I was building websites instantly. I, I learned how to build websites very quickly. But the thing is, I didn't know that this stuff was hard. It, was, it wasn't easy, but I didn't know this stuff was so hard. So I just basically sat there and I learned how to do this. I learned how to build businesses. I learned how to do different things. I learned how to get products. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but I did what I had to do. And it's amazing that Gen Z just doesn't do the same thing. They have all the time in the world and yet they don't want to learn. They don't want to study. And it's like, they've been like this before they graduated from high school. They've had, they had, there was like nothing they wanted to really aspire to do in life other than own property and live easy lives. Like, 
what kind of nonsense is that? When we were kids, they would ask us, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? And then when it comes to Gen Z, it's like they just want to they just want to chill and hit that spliff. And it's and it's not it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Life is not that simple. Like they're gonna be held accountable. And I really do not feel sorry for these people when things really hit the fan. And you know, Ten City is a thing. Guys, don't forget, I have another channel called Angry where I discuss anime, gaming, geek stuff, nerd stuff, real world stuff, or whatever else interests me. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. Also, I have another channel called Men Walking Away, where I release daily content. And if you're enjoying the content on this channel, on the Angry Guy channel, and you want even more content like this content, head over to Men Walking Away. There's a link to it in the description of the video. Go check the channel out. Subscribe to the channel. Support my work. Guys, what do you think regarding this? Gen Z is refusing to go to school or be productive. The little jerks. They're passing away faster than all the previous generations. Because, you know, the, the lifestyles they're living, the, you know, the choices that they're making, the vaping, the illicit substances, you know, the, the lack of sleep, the alcohol. I mean, you know, you just name it. Gen Z's have a hand in it. Guys, this generation looks so bad. It's like people always say, like, every generation is worse than the last one. Bro, these people, it's as a gener guys, as a generation. These guys, like, we've never seen anything like this before in our entire lives. You, Gen Z is literally out here, like, smoking weed, smoking weed, vaping, you know, drinking a 40, you know, cigarettes. Guy, you know, like, I don't know. Guys, we've never seen something like this before. We've never seen something like this before. Like, what the hell is this? This is some real... This is generation ghetto, y'all. Like these these people are crazy. These people, like, this is some like no one can this is not childish stuff. Like, like this is stuff that you would see like the the worst people in society doing. It's like if like choose one thing, bro. Choose one. But you can't be all of these things unemployed, vaping, you know, hit, split, you know, hitting the spliff all the time, you know, drinking, you know. I mean, eating fast food every single day. I mean, the, the lifestyle, not working, no productivity, refusing to go to school, you know, poor literacy. I mean, the list just goes on and on with these people. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We'll talk about it there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away. And cheers.